For those of you that have the Mavic, you've probably realized that it's almost impossible to just use a tablet because the way the controller works, you unclip it, you put your phone in there. People like me with the iPhone 7 Plus, that basically just stretches the thing out. Like, you can't get much bigger. So the iPhone 7 Plus is about 5.5 inches. What if you want to go bigger? What if you want 9 inches or 10 inches? Well, I'm going to show you... <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use that with your Mavic today. So if you guys aren't familiar, this is the Amazon Basic bag that's made for a camera and a laptop. So this works really good with the Mavic, my DSLR, my laptop, tablet, stuff like that. If you've never seen this thing, I'll put a link in the description below. This is a 2017 model, so if you're familiar with the Amazon Basic bags, this one's a little bit different than what you've probably seen before. So inside of my bag, we have, at the very top, I have a white balance card. If you don't know what white balance is, I'll look into it. It's very important for video and stuff. And then in my bag itself, I have my Mavic, I have all the extra batteries, I have the controller, I have my sunglasses, I have my Gorillapod, and in this little thing right here, I have my tablet. So this is what we're going to try out today. We have the Nexus 9 and we also have the iPad. Like this is like the second generation. It's super old. The front of it is cracked. So let's try the uh, Nexus 9 first. So what you want to do is obviously download the DJI Go 4 app because the DJI Go 4 app is made for the Mavic and the Phantom 4 Professional. So get it from the Play Store like this. We're going to open it up. So when you get the app up it looks just like this basically like any other normal app just looks a lot bigger if you're used to seeing it on your phone and you always want to turn on the controller before the drone you want to do it like this so you want to flip them out and up and when you're flying your drone you want to have these pointed you want to have the back pointed directly at your drone so typically you want to kind of pull them up like a 45 degree angle and face these things directly at your drone so the front doesn't hit your drone these do and that's how you get the best uh, signal. Now one thing to keep in mind, how you normally connect your phone or whatever to the Mavic controller is right here. In here and you plug it there. But we can't do that and we also have to unplug this cable right here. I believe if it's plugged in this won't work. Then you want to take your cable that you would normally just like plug into your wall or your computer to charge it. You would just plug that into the bottom of the controller. You may not have noticed there's actually like a full-size USB port down there for accessories and stuff like this. And then we want to turn on the controller. So the controller's on. And now we want to turn the drone on. So I'm going to unfold it. And I'm going to leave the gimbal protector on because I'm inside my uh, screen in one eye. I don't want to mess up the gimbal if something happens. I'm going to put in a battery, press it, and one more time to turn it on. And then once you get it hooked up like you normally would, you can now see what your drone sees, but in super big quality on your tablet. And it's kind of interesting, depending on the size of your tablet, you could probably even do something like this. Like I just have it connected to the top. You would just have to hold your hands like this and it would work. I mean, not the best setup and it's probably better to do wide, but if you want to do widescreen, you need you would either have to get a separate like table or stand for it or just hold it in your lap like if you're sitting down then that would work perfectly fine but this I'm, i think i'm kind of onto something like this <laughs> that's pretty cool actually and guys also while i was shopping on amazon for mavic accessories i saw something that would work really good with your tablet like your ipad so what the accessory does it goes in like in here and it has a little arm that comes out and you connect your ipad to it and it's supposed to work pretty good so I will put a link to that below in the description. Check it out if you want to buy it. Okay, so I have the unsupported DJI Go app, but not the 4. If you're going to use an iPad, make sure you use a newer iPad than me. Like this is before the iPad Airs came out. Just keep that in mind. And it's not going to break anything using the old DJI Go app. Um, it's just strongly encouraged to use the newer one for the newer drones. Especially as updates go on, the DJI Go 4 app is going to be a lot better. Okay, so we're connecting the iPad to the controller now. And even though the DJI Go app doesn't support the Mavic, it's right here, so it obviously works. Oh, this is cool. I actually haven't seen this before, probably because I used my Mavic before this happened. But when you use the DJI Go app, not the DJI Go 4 app, you get this warning. 
it says make sure you use the DJI Go 4 app. So that's pretty cool because I was honestly clueless about the 4 app until you guys told me about it. But that's unfortunate for me because now it appears I can't use the drone at all. So, sucks for me. I can't demonstrate how to use it with the iPad. Do it the exact same way as the Nexus 9. As long as you have an iPad that's supported, which I will link in the description below to all the supported iPads and all of the supported Android devices as well. And that's it, guys. Just remember, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Mavic videos. And I'll put links here and here to some videos you may like. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, which would be super amazing, I'll put a link right here by this annoying creature. And that's it. Have a great day. Bye.